Machine learning is one of the most influential and powerful uh, tools for this era. And the objective of machine learning is to develop uh, efficient method to imitate the human learning abilities to the machine. So basically what we do, we create models from past data and use that models to predict the future. So that's why machine learning is so used in many different areas in academy and industry. We are not far from seeing its potential in the next couple of years. Uh, if I talk about current projects we are working on, uh, we can diagnose skin cancers even better than dermatologists. Uh, we are even able to diagnose the breast cancer much more higher accuracy than a radiologist can do. So we are also working with developing uh, a mosquito trap that use machine learning to recognize different species of mosquitoes. For instance, malaria is a disease that kills almost half a million people every year. And what happens is that a mosquito bites one person with malaria and carries the disease to another person. So we call the mosquito vector. So one way of controlling the disease is to eradicate the mosquitoes. When you have this information, we can create kind of a heat maps where we have the location of the traps, the density of the mosquitoes, and we can use that information to plan the mosquito control activity. So we send the, uh, the agents to the locations where the mosquitoes are present. I think the future of machine learning is quite bright because these techniques are being adopted in science and industry. So for the people that are trained in machine learning, and they know how to create those models, they probably going to have a very nice job offers in the future. There is no doubt machine learning will continue to be making the headlines for the next couple of decades. Uh, we can see that machine learning can do much better uh, in some of the tasks, and we expect to see that uh, machine learning uh, will be changing most of the application, uh, making them autonomous.